Well, today's Wednesday, April 19th. So this is the second day of Maryland season. I got kind of overwhelmed with the filming and editing. I've been punching record way too much. So really, to be honest with y'all, not much has been going on. Um, I rolled in open day, um, ran around a bunch of different public land stuff and um, scouted some and tried to find turkeys and um, ended up getting permission on a really good spot. There's a few other guys hunting the same area. They got permission too, apparently. Um, I did check those gobblers uh, open an evening, try to roost them for this today. And um, they weren't roosted anywhere close, but I'll be keeping tabs on them. If they slip up and roost close, I'll be on them. I ran around to another WMA and um, ended up finding a strutter or two uh, yesterday evening and uh, went back in here this morning and I found three, three big long beards. So I guess that's just a summarize because I was uh, really overwhelmed. I had like 120 files to go through. I don't know why I was clicking the cord so much, but not much happened. I hadn't had a shower in seven days, I think. Oh, I did hunt Delaware. Here's a clip from Delaware. I hunted Delaware a solid two days because I've got only one private land permission spot. So the other six days, all I did was ride around and scout the state and I found where the turkeys are on the public for what tag I need to apply for. Um, today, I think I added it up. It's the 12th day I've turkey hunted this spring. But I got a lot of good days ahead of me. Gonna be positive. Um, I didn't hunt after I killed my second Georgia turkey on the 6th. I didn't hunt until I got to Delaware, hunted two days in Delaware, drove around for six days. Here I am. I've hunted two days in Maryland. And uh, I guess that's your update, but let's go scout. Joker strutted right across that gap here. That's perfect. Couldn't ask for any better. I don't know if I should sit on that high side right there or if I should get in the gap. I'll have to chew on that tonight. <coughs> well, <coughs> productive day of scouting. Put up a turkey. And uh, they're right where he's gonna be. And I know where I'll be. So, gotta be up really early. So we'll see y'all tomorrow. Showing me that he don't want to hear a bunch. So I'm gonna play the quiet game. He knows where I'm at. All right, I heard some hands. Hands just flew down <clears throat> right around the corner. So here we go. I called to her a little bit. The turkey didn't gobble, but he's coming.
right, so now it's a waiting game. They're in this other cove. They, they got to come by me to get to the other stuff, so it's just a matter of time. Be patient. I'm not pressing the issue with the hens. I want them to feel natural. All right. It's about 7 a.m. Just popped over that hill in that other cove, coming back this way. We'll see what happens. If you don't want to come, I can shoot that gap. I got a hole. It's about 30 yards. All right, these turkeys are about to go left. They're going to try to flank me. So what I'm going to do is I'm about to go bobcat on them. Leave everything here. Haul butt over there, cut them off. That one hen. Well, I couldn't do nothing with that turkey. He had hens. Um, they started back and forth across the field. Thought they were going to come, never would. Started off real soft with the hens. Didn't make a difference. Got a little louder. Hens went left, so I crawled across just to go bobcat on them. Went all the way across, and now they didn't see me. I popped up, nowhere to be found. Houdini turkeys. Anyhow, it's about 8.45. New development. I was walking down this road, I spooked two different hens. Turkey gobbled off to the left. So I'm set up on this road right now. About to call to him. Sounds like they're swinging down. I'm gonna hit the road and come on down. <laughs> I have no clue. They gobbled like somehow they went around me. They gobbled like 40 yards behind me. They don't want to come to a decoy then. Golly, man, I am riding a freaking struggle bus, man. This is starting to get really old and frustrating. Well, it's probably a wrap for today. A whole lot of nothing. Turkeys just don't want to act right for the bow. It's a freaking grind that only the bow presents. More hunters. Maybe that's why the turkeys are acting funny. Unproductive rest of the day as far as scouting goes. There go the allergies. there to that field and I've already got allergies flaring. Alright, I gotta get to stepping. Plan is where I was set up yesterday morning on that corner of the field. I'm going straight across where all those turkeys came out initially. And uh those heads ping ponged around that field but they kept coming back to a central spot where they were dusting and that spot where they were dusting is about 20 yards from the corner where I'll be so
607. Turkeys just keep gobbling. I still hear that guy down the creek. He's not coming any closer, that's good. And I just heard the hens. So the hens, they're gonna go away from his call and they should come right down the pipe. Hunter getting a little bit closer. We'll see if he screws this up. They're real close right here. They're just gobbled, they're about to come out of the field. Hope I don't take some TSS, TSS in the crossfire. This is insanity. I got one hunter over here on the creek calling to these turkeys. I got another bozo coming around the other top field. Trucks, first one at the gate, Don't it don't matter. People don't have any courtesy. Plus side is maybe they'll push these turkeys to this far edge that I'm on. Six, six thirty-five. Unbelievable. Two bozos walk across the field. Luckily the turkeys were inside the woods, I'm pretty sure. Just waved them off. Pretty sure they went back the other way. I still got this other guy down here on the creek. the field. Two hens cut the gap right where I was yesterday. I don't know what these other hens are going to do. I'm hoping they just bounce around in this field. Give me a chance. We'll see. It's like 7.30. It's 8.30. Eight, They're about to cut this edge on me. I should have been on that side. I knew it. I knew it. Right by that cedar that I looked at sitting at. I know where I need to be tomorrow. Well, well, somebody just shot one. They just crossed by the big cedar. So now I gotta play catch up, try to cut them off. I think I know where they're gonna go. I'm making a giant, giant loop on these turkeys. Cut them off. In the next field, they're gonna use that high rise side of the field. That's the side I'm gonna get on. Got a haul butt there. Oh, that was, this is a hike. So the turkeys, I was in that field across the branch. They're hugging that edge, so I made a big loop around into this field. I'm gonna slid down this edge. Look out there, get in this next field where those tall pines are. All right, I made it into the next field. This cove, they're coming from back here. They're gonna filter in this shaded side of this field. I'm gonna set up on that point right there. set up I'm right off on the trail there's a trail right there that goes into these open hardwoods behind me that's where I was yesterday when the turkeys were gobbling and they swung in flanked the decoy but today I ain't got a decoy so I'm gonna push whack them coming right through here Let's see what happens they should be showing up any second now it's uh to hit this field any second now. It could literally happen any second. Hour, 
41 minutes, 30 seconds to cut off. Well, more hunters came in on me. Fantastic. So by the time I get the truck, I have one hour to hunt. Folks, not respecting, first at the gate. I got one hour to hunt. Just part the truck in this branch where I heard that other turkey gobbling. So, just gonna set up in here. I got a single hand with me because it's wide open in here. I'm gonna deploy the single hand, see what happens. That's all for the 21st of April in the great state of Maryland. I'll catch a break eventually. I know where this turkey's going to be tomorrow. I know exactly where they're going to go. Question is. Will the goof troops scare the turkeys tomorrow?